Hello, this is Paul from Foresight Tech. In this lecture, I will introduce five number summary and the inter quanta range IQR. And uh, what is the five number summary the definition? So we have five numbers. This is basic description of the data. So the first number is a minimal number. The second is Q1. The third is median and the fourth is Q3 and the fifth is maximum number. So we look at this and the, of course first the data should be ordered from the minimal to the maximum. Okay? Suppose your data is ordered in ascending order. So what is Q1? Q1 is first the quanta. First quanta means what? 25th percentage of the data, right? So means what? That's uh, 25th percentile. Okay, so I will show you in the graph. Okay, so you will see clearly. The meeting we already know. What is Q3? The third quanta. Third quanta means uh, 75th percentile. Okay, 75th percentile. That's the definition. Okay, if we look at uh, all the five numbers uh, in the number nine. Okay, so we draw from the left to the right, and uh, the data is increasing. See, from the minimal, go to Q1, go to meeting, go to Q3, go to maximum. So we look at the basic definition. What is uh, meeting? Of course, the left is 50%. So what is Q1? Well, let me look at the Q1. The first quanta means what? The bottom 25th percentage of the data, right? That's a P25. That is the 25th percentile. And the same meeting, you can say, is Q2. Why? Because the meeting add or but no, the meeting covers 50 percentage of the data, right? That's a P50. So this is a P75. The third quantile covers 25 percentage. And the last 25, so one quarter, one quarter. Okay, four quarter is, is 100 percentage of the data. And the one more definition, so IQR. IQR is inter-quanta range, inter-quanta range, inter-quanta. So from this quanta to this quanta, okay, Q1 to Q3, what is the distance? The distance, of course, the large number Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 minus Q1, the range we call the IQR. Cover how many percentage of data? 25, 25 added together is 50 percentage. So this means what? And uh, this covers the middle fifty percentage of the data. And one more. So another understand for Q1, and this is the uh, the most easy way for us to find uh, was the Q1 or twenty fifth percentile. Okay, Q1 is defined like in this way. So can we look at a twenty fifth percentage? Twenty fifth percentage. So what is, does it mean? If we cut the data in the medium. In the meeting, we cut into half, two halves. So the the left half we call it the first half, the right half we call it the second half. So this time you will see that's very meaningful. So look at it. why. If now we only have the left half of the data, twenty fifth, twenty fifth. So what does it mean? So Q one is the meeting, right? This way Q one is the meeting of the first half. We can see. Q1 exactly is the meeting of the first half. The same Q3 is the meeting of the second half. We remember how to find the meeting. So easy to find the meeting, right? So it's easy. The same to find the Q1 and the Q3. So that's the definitions for all. <coughs> uh, it's one we have to mention because we have two cases. And the first half and the half, the second half, the halves. Sometimes it's a little bit confusing. So here we make it clear. Oh, based on our textbook, so we use this definition. Okay. And this is not a unique. Okay, some other textbook. Okay, probably they use a different method to define what is the first half, was the second half. Okay. I look at uh, ours. So if n is an even number, so the first case, n is sample size. For example, we have four numbers. So the sample size n equals 4. It's even, right? So like the even number is 1, 3, 5, 7. So this is the data. This is our data. Okay. In case this simple data. 
And then now it's even. So how do you find the first half cut in the middle? Exactly cut. So the left the two is the first half, the right the two, the second half. So even is easy to define half and half, right? However, it's a little bit uh, confused. So for odd, so we look at it. So for example, I have five numbers. So the data is this. So this is our data. Suppose this is our data. Our data is one, three, five, seven, nine. So look at it, even five numbers. Okay, we have five data. Okay, five values in the data sets. So this time, how do you find the first half? Okay, some book is do this. So they said the first half is one, three, five. The second half is five, four, seven, nine. I mean, they include the five either to the left of the half or to the right, or both. Okay, some textbook use five goes to the first half and goes to the half, second half. However, here in our textbook, this is the major one. Okay, this is the most popular one. The most popular one is exclude five. Just keep in mind that if we have one number in the middle, in the middle. Of course, everyone knows this is the median. Okay, we exclude the median. Don't put the median to the left half. Don't put the median to the right half. I mean, so now the first half is one three. The second half is a two nine. Uh, no, the second half is a seven nine. One three is the first. Seven nine is the second half. Okay, so this is a unique. Okay, so this is a very important, especially for the second one. We have to use this to define the first half and the second half. That's all the definition. Now we look at the two examples. I'm going to show you how to find the five number summary. So look at the first example. So suppose we have a newborn baby's weight. How many newborn? The sample size is 30. So here is 30. Okay. So we have 30. And then the data is shown here. 5.5 pound, 5.7, and then the first row, and then follow the second row. Okay, the first row is 15 data, the second row is 15. Okay, this 7 to 7, look at the data. It's in order, right? In good order. Okay, it's, it's increasing from the smallest to the largest. So that's good. So now, how to find the five number summary? So we have basically two. Keep in mind. Um, so the first, uh, I use definition. Okay, the second, we have definitely one variable, one variable steps in calculators. Uh, later, I will going to show you also in calculator how do you find the five number summary. So the first, we use definition. Okay, what is definition? The definition we found the one by one. Remember this, we find the minimum, find the maximum, and then find the mean. Okay, and then cut the data into two half. So among the first half, we find the Q1. Among the second half, we find the Q3. Okay, so this is the order. So first, because it's already ordered, right? So we see this is already ordered. Good. Already ordered. And so what the order is increasing. Or we say is a ascending, right? It's ascending order. So that's good. Ascending order, so this number from the beginning. What is number? This is a minimal, right? Good. See, we find already the minimal up here. So the minimal is uh, 5.5. Good. So the right, this is the maximum, right? Okay, so this is the maximum. So I put it here. The maximum now we have uh, the largest number, 8.7. So now I'm going to find the median. I'm going to find the median. What is the median? The median we need to find the how many number in the median first. 30 data. We cut it into two. See, that's exactly 15 data, right? So this is a 15. Okay. So the first row is 15 numbers. 15 numbers is the first half. Okay. This is the first uh, half you can see right okay the second row this is uh, the second uh, half how many data is also cover 15 numbers that's good I mean uh, now 
we can do simple way like this if I I write here a little bit so like the data so card into two so the first uh, car was the first half uh, this is the first half how many data 15 here the second uh, card how many data 15 here see no one data in the middle so this time we should find the two this is the first half right this is the first uh, half so this is the second uh, half okay so can we look at it so this is one number this is another the middle is no number keep in mind the middle is no number so now 7.0 i mean the this card or this number, uh, so we, we should see this number should be 7.0. And this number we can see also 7.0. Why? Right here. Okay, we should do this. This is one number in the middle, another number in the middle. So now we have two numbers in the middle. So what is the meeting? Get the average, right? So average these two. So average these two is the meeting. Average is get a 7.0. So this is what? This is the meeting. Good. So I find 7.0. Keep in mind one data, two data, two data is in the middle. Average of the middle is the meeting. So we finish these three. Now we're going to Q1 and then going to Q3. What is Q1? Use the definition. Q1 is the meeting of the first half. What is the first? First half we focus on the first half means the first row how many data? Fifteen data. Fifteen data we should is add the number we can find a one number in the middle. So fifteen is the eighth number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, this is the Q one, right? Okay, this is the meeting of the first half. We can say because this is the meeting of uh, the first uh, half right so that's good we find uh, 6.4 is q1 the same so we look at the second row which means the second half which number is in the middle this number is in the middle so this is a q3 what is a q3 q3 is the meeting of the second uh, half if we use the definition, it's very easy to find how many 7.7. 7. See, we done the first part, right? Uh, I was going to show you in the calculator how to find. So in the calculator, we need to type all the data and then use one variable. So that's, see, if we can get it the same. Let me show you. And be patient, I'll get my calculator done. So yeah, let me on my look at it. Probably I have to queue or to queue a little bit with a little. Yeah, it's good. So now let's look at the data. So we just have a data, right? So do you remember all this data? So from 5.5 .5 it goes to 8.7. The first step is input all the data, right? So we're going to, how do you input the edit and So we look at 5.5, .5, I already type all the data, okay? I already type all the data to L1, okay? And this it means that the first step we already done, input the data, and then go to the second step. What do you do? One variable stats. How do you do is stat. And then we go into the middle calculation, calculate, and then the first one variable that's end, and the other word added the data of uh, the first column, okay L one, and then end. So what do we find? The standard deviation? No, sorry, it's not a standard deviation. What do we need now is the five number summary, right? So here is some uh, descriptive statistics we learned before, and then we go down. Okay, go, 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 go. Have you find? Where is the five number summary? Yes, we do. At the minimum, 5.5 .5 is the same. 
and the second Q1 6.4, median 7, Q3 7.7, and the maximum 8.7. So you can compare, is the same 5.5, 6.4, 7.0, 7.7, 8.7. This is the five number summary. Definitely they are the same, right? Okay, good. So now we go back. So with a little I get this down. Now we already know. Now we already know. So here is get the same, right? So get the same. Uh, of course, you will uh, imagine so which method is easier. If someone you want to type data, you use the calculator, it's easy. However, exactly, if you use the definition, it's easy to get it, okay? So you only use a little bit of time. If you type data, you can imagine if you type wrong data, any one data, you type the wrong. The answer you get probably is not correct. Be careful. Okay, the second question, now. Uh, these questions, I will just use definition. Keep in mind that we're going to practice definition again. Uh, use a calculator, you know, you just input the data, do one variable, so that's right. So here, what is the example size? 27, okay. And the example size is 27, tomato weighs how many pounds? See, 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, look at it, the data is increasing, okay, it's good order. So first, the order is good, right? So it's a the order, good. The order is already done. And now, so what do we need to do? So we look look at the pattern. So the first is nine data, and then follow the second row, nine data, and then follow the third row, nine data. So three nine is 27. So where is the minimum? I think you know, the left that is is a minimum, good. Minimal we find. So if I put it here, the minimal is easy. We already find the 2.0. Where's the maximal? The last. Of course, this is a maximal. Already, the maximal. So I put it here, the maximal we already find 3.4. Now we're going to find the meeting. Okay, it will imagine what the meeting. 27 data is an odd number. We can find only one number in the middle. That one is the meeting, right? So which number is in the middle? Of course, uh, it's uh, 13 to the left, 13 to the right. The middle is the 14th data, okay? This should be what? The 14th data, you can imagine. The 14th number of value. 14th, this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So can we see? This is a 14, so we find uh, this number. Oh, for the symmetry, you see, this is exactly in the middle, right? It's in the middle of all data. So this is a what? This is uh, the meeting. Good. So we find the meeting is 2.7. So now I are going to find a Q1. What is a Q1? Q1 is the meeting of the first half, always. So we are the first, we are the first half. Okay, so we need to show the meeting is a single data does not uh, include in the first half, right? This should be excluded, remember? So now I'm going to highlight what the first half. The first half is going here, all the data, all the data, see? So this is the first half. This is the first half. How many? How many data? 13, so going to count 13 numbers. Okay, so this time. 13 numbers means what? Uh, means only one number in the middle, right? Because this is the odd number. The which number in the middle? So you can imagine, uh, should it be six, six, uh, sevens, right? The sevens data, you're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you see this? Okay. And the secret data to the left, and there's another secret data to the right. So this is the what? This is the Q1. And then I put here 2.5 here. You know, 2.5 is the medium of uh, the first uh, half. 
So now is the same. What is Q3? Is this meeting of the second half, right? Is the meeting of the second uh, half. Where the second half? So I was going to highlight again. Uh, actually, I use this, okay? I highlight is uh, this exclude go from here to to the last, okay, to the last. See, this is what, this is the second uh, half. How many is the same? 13 numbers there. 13 numbers means uh, one number in the middle, right? The seventh number, so you can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, 3.0, see? This number, exactly, is what it? is a Q3. So I put it here is 3.0. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.